Hi guys, so this is how to pair a Microsoft Surface Keyboard Easy Connection Guide. How to pair a Microsoft Surface Keyboard quick and easy. If you've recently purchased a Microsoft Surface Keyboard and you're having a little trouble, you're not alone. Pairing your keyboard with your computer can be a little tricky without help. And this is no fault of yours or anyone, it's just a simple oversight by Microsoft themselves. They failed to provide clear and concise instructions, causing you to go somewhere else for advice. But if you've yet to buy a Microsoft Surface Keyboard and you're simply checking what kind of early day problems you might run into, don't be discouraged. The keyboards themselves are fantastic, especially for people with a strain-related medical problem in their hands or wrists. The only problem is the lack of instructions and the instructions themselves. So with this article to help, you will have no trouble at all understanding what a Microsoft Service keyboard is, how it works, and why they're so great. Also, most importantly, you'll learn how to pair them with your home or work PC. What is a Microsoft Surface Keyboard? So a Microsoft Surface Keyboard is a computer keyboard that is designed by Microsoft for Microsoft. Standard keyboards are almost always designed, manufactured, and shipped by third-party companies. And the, there are good keyboards that can be found out there, and with a little hard work, you'll find what you're looking for eventually. But wouldn't it be easier if some keyboards could be purchased directly from the same people who manufactured your computers? Well, now you can. The Microsoft Surface Keyboard is here to the rescue. Having a keyboard that works directly with the software on your computer to be as efficient and easy to use as possible is so much better than the alternative. Anyone who has gone out of their way to set up custom macros on a third-party keyboard knows how tedious it can be. Even after hours of setting up these new macros and key functions, you may find that they don't work properly and you have no idea why. Microsoft has made it quicker and easier for you. Can Microsoft Surface keyboards be ergonomic? Yes, they are ergonomic. What this means is that they are designed to fit you and your hands as comfortably as possible. The keyboards, instead of being a standard rectangular shape, they are more curved and well spread out. Keys will be in slightly different places than a standard keyboard, which may take some getting used to. An ergonomic keyboard can even be almost split into two pieces, and these two pieces will attach perpendicularly, creating a wide V-like shape. This can be a godsend for someone with severe carpal tunnel syndrome. Sitting your hands in different locations where they are more spread out and less confined to a small area, you can not only ease the symptoms of someone who is already suffering, but prevent someone who is not yet afflicted from becoming so. So in a previous article, I talked about another idea for managing wrist pain, which is utilized by using a keyboard wrist rest. So most people neglect wrist rest, but they are simply important to make use of, especially if you spend a lot of time on the computer. How are ergonomic keyboards better than regular ones? While better is a very subjective term, keyboards that are auto-linear might be better for you than they are for me, simply because you find their rigid column layout comfortable and I don't, and I may find tactile keyboards much better than regular ones, simply because the feedback makes me feel like my typing is more responsive and accurate. Ergonomic keyboards may be better in the sense that they're more comfortable and easier to use, however, not everyone feels the same way. Many people find that ergonomic keyboards are too different from standard keyboards and adjusting is too hard. Sure, over time, learning to use a new layout may prove to be beneficial, but who has time to learn? If you work a full-time job, two weeks spent learning to use your new keyboard might drastically reduce your performance. You won't have time to practice out of work. Practicing in work could be damaging to your career and ultimately making the swap no longer becomes worth it. But if you already have a condition such as carpal tunnel, you should make the swap. 
ergonomic keyboards are very superior if you have this condition. The relief it can provide can be very literally life-changing. And carpal tunnel is a very serious medical condition that many people choose to ignore since they just see it as a minor inconvenience. And it is at first, but not for long. It can be very painful and there is no coming back from it. What other Microsoft Surface devices are commonly used? So Microsoft Surface is a brand of device, so there are other devices available than just the keyboards. Most commonly used is the Microsoft Surface mouse. So unlike the keyboard, there are no medical conditions that will make this particular mouse more comfortable for you to use. But where this mouse does excel is in longevity and ease of use. The Microsoft Surface Mouse is far lighter and it's much longer lasting than other mouse on the market. Long lasting in both battery life and quality. Microsoft doesn't cheap out on materials and manufacturing so you know you're getting a good quality product. The biggest advantage of using one of these mouse is how comfortable they are. So the mouse has a full scroll plane support in both directions. Your typical mouse will just scroll upwards and downwards that is used to navigate web pages. However, a Microsoft Surface mouse will scroll horizontally too, which is from side to side. And this can be useful for lots of creative work like graphic design or even gaming. It's less useful for standard office work but can still serve some functions. And what those functions are, are mostly entirely job related. Additionally, if you have problems scrolling upwards, switching your scroll function to be side to side may be more comfortable for you. So what are Microsoft Surface devices used for again? Microsoft Surface devices can, with a little work, be used with most Windows computers. Windows is, as you know, owned and operated by Microsoft. So it isn't much trouble, however, Microsoft Surface devices are intended to be used with Microsoft Surface Studio models. And this is where they shine in both functionality and ease of use. They connect far more easily to the Studio models than the alternatives, and once you connected them once, they should auto-connect every time you go to use them. Simply turn your computer on, wiggle your mouse, and it should be ready to go. Many of the devices, such as the keyboard or mouse, are wireless and battery-reliant. Some models have inbuilt regulators that turn them on and off as needed, and some don't. The battery life is generally pretty good, so don't worry too much about them dying on you. How to pair a Microsoft Surface keyboard? When it comes to pairing your keyboard, you may feel like you've hit a wall. When there's no cable, connecting the keyboard becomes a bit more complicated and combined with unclear instructions or no instructions at all, this can be worse. This section is here to help. So follow these instructions in order or you may find yourself struggling to find the right settings. Getting ready. Make sure you have both your computer and your keyboard in front of you. Keep them as close together during the pairing process as possible. Bluetooth has a decent range, but it's more effective the closer you are. Once you're ready, turn your computer on. Make sure it's up to date if there are any updates in the queue. Navigate to Bluetooth settings on PC. So click the Windows Start button on your screen. It will be at the very bottom left of your screen on the left-hand side of your taskbar. Next, click Settings, Devices, and then Bluetooth, and other devices. This should take you to a page that asks if you want to add a Bluetooth device. At this point, it is time to activate your keyboard. Activate pairing mode. On your keyboard, there is a button for pairing. This can be found on the left side of the kickstand. It will be a small button, but pretty easy to find. You need to hold this button for about set seven seconds for it to work. It will then put your keyboard in pairing mode. You can tell whether it's working by checking for a light above the up arrow on the keyboard. If it is on, then great, you're in business. 
add the device. Next, go back to your computer and click add Bluetooth device. You will be prompted to click Bluetooth again, and then you will hopefully see your keyboard listed in the choices. If you don't, check to see if the pairing light is illuminated on your keyboard. And if it isn't, follow the above step again. Once you've paired your keyboard, give it a whirl. It should be working fine. If not, it's time to call Microsoft Tech Support. And now for the conclusion. Hopefully you have a very good understanding of this type of keyboard and mouse. More importantly, you hopefully now know how to pair your keyboard. If you follow the above steps, you will have no trouble. On the slim chance that you do run into trouble, the above hyperlink will take you directly to Microsoft's customer support page so you can get the specialized help you need. Check out Keyboard Kings. For more guides and reviews, go to my website, keyboardkings.com. Thank you. And the link to this article will be in the description box below.